Welcome back, everybody. And you guessed it, we're playing some more Sweden. So I haven't been doing much ground stuff here lately due to the uh, hyperfixation I had on getting the griping. I do have it now, still grinding it out a little bit, but I did promise to put a video up today on this. So this is the cheese wedge tank, the STRV 103 0. There's also one in the tech tree, which you'll see. I don't have hardly anything in the tech tree. I play it for the memes, mostly because this right here is broken as all get out. It is hilarious. There is another cheese wedge tank around here somewhere. There we go. And this one's a bit better. <coughs> it is 0.7 BR higher. So, without further ado, let's hop into a couple of matches. You notice I have the Vidar on there. The Vidar was probably, in the last year, my personal opinion, the most broken thing for ground brought out. And it was at 7.7, .7, I think, when it came out, and they just moved up to 8.0. It has, I think, it's now Gen 2 thermals, and I think they nerfed the zoom on it. Well, let's see here. We do need to take a couple smoke rounds. Just a few. Run this down a little bit lower, and let's go. Now, this is a very low-to-the-ground tank, and if you notice, you aim it by moving. <laughs> OP in this. All right, promise. I said OP net. You know, how OP promise. We'll just ignore that. Ignore that. Fox, he's giving me a boost. Tell this man thank you. It does not have a stabilizer, but this can run off of one crew. I think, what, we get three guys? Yeah, so. Even if you lose two, you still have one. If we go over here, we're going to be in the open, so let's go this way. It's not the fastest tank. This is lower level crew on it. I'll put the higher level crew on the Vidar for the repairs. Wow. There's a lot of boom going on over there. Has a really good zoom though. This is a tricky tank to use because if you lose one of your uh one of your tank treads, you're you can't aim. The whole tank has to move to aim. So remember that. It feels like I've almost got packet loss right now. Like the tank wants to pull to the left. This feels very odd. I don't have hardly any tank driving skill on this. This is a relatively good sniper tank. I think it does get a laser rangefinder. Yes, it does. I remember now it does. So I just used it. Uh, it gets a very good hole down on hills. Can get you into some bad spots. Just remember that. See how it's kind of pulled down as you go up until you hit a spot right here. Critical hit. That's APCR for you. out right here get a critical almost got his ammo almost it does have a four second reloader it's our second kill assist we will take it we are kind of stomping these guys see how the whole tank just has to move which can put you in some weird situations because you don't really want to be sideways to anything Tank destroyed, there we go. Finally got a kill. Why is the turret looking straight up every time? Looks like we might be able to go over and get their spawn. So let's do that. That was a very lucky shot. In the one spot that you can get the entire crew killed. And we'll burn a backup. Because why not? I have a bunch of backups. I keep buying all the universal ones. That's not bad. APCR, granted it's not terrible. We're at 8.0, so it's not terrible. You can actually run this with a really good uh, ground pound setup with the Saab 105G. Which I don't have unlocked right now. I have to do a little bit of grinding, which I don't feel like doing that right now. I'm having too much fun in the griping. But as you can tell, uh, that four second reload is just amazing on this thing. 
speeds and their insane auto loading speed. We are doing quite well. That just feels weird right there where I turned and it's losing speed, but then again, I should probably swap this back over to the little 56 crew. If you have artillery, use it. You'd be surprised. You'll randomly always, like, you'll get the weirdest kills with it and the most hilarious kills. I'm just gonna move through here. We'll be using our binos a lot. Mostly for the way this paint sits. See the rest of my... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, my team finally decided to flank. And we have a bit of an advantage being this low profile. Granted, you'll be smoke. Hello, there he is, he's here to the right. Oh, right here. Ah, uh, I forgot I've got a whole aiming on, so we're gonna do some weird monkey stuff. That's him right here. Darn. I'm gonna use a smoke shell and uh, just kind of blind him here in a second. Aiming's kind of messed up. And we still have ye old wobble. So. Huh. We're in a terrible spot. We can get side shot relatively easily right now. Come on. Six seconds. This thing does some very interesting tanking, like I said before. Oh, hello. Is he still over there? Yes, he is. Ah, uh, well, that was not good. Didn't expect him to do that. That is SPA. So, now we're just hanging out. And we're dead. <laughs> My team is completely blind to this guy over there. So he's over here side shotting us, and I have pinged my team. To say, hey, there's possibly somebody over here. Now, this, this is insane for 8.0. Slow turret traverse, but really good zoom. Think of this as like artillery. Look at that. Oh, nope. I forgot they did nerf the zoom. Uh, you used to be able to zoom in really far. Like, it gets a laser rangefinder also. This is one of the few vehicles that I don't play a whole lot of, just because I honestly think it's really powerful. And whenever I get into the, the Swedish grind, I'll probably do the majority of it around this 8.0 area. Just because how easy it is. I really shouldn't use this as like a frontliner, but... What are we gonna do? We're just making a video. Alright, so I should be able to get into a decent spot around here and start side shooting them like I was side shot. Hello. this kill on it. That was the guy that was flanking us. I 
I think it's relatively spiffy. Alright, can we get further behind them? Can we get a flank going? The guy that was back here is probably coming back to the same spot. Now, this is all overpressuring. I shot that guy in the tracks when I should have aimed up for the, uh, what you call it, the turret. Sneaky, sneaky. The sneaky Swedish. They, they're well known for their stealth and large artillery tanks. Historically documented. Okay. There goes somebody there. So we need to go a little bit further. Get on this next road. We still have most of our team. Their best guy has already quit seven kills, one death. Nice. Oh yeah, red light district. I completely forgot about this. This is legit a letter right this. Gaijin. You can really feel that slow turret traverse in this thing. No way. That didn't kill him, that's my god. Got his barrel though. That thing has a ton of ERA. Oh, I was going to get right behind him and shoot him. It is one weak spot. <laughs> of course, a T-10 would come back in my day. All right, let's go ahead and just play this helicopter. I think these are straight up just dumb cloths. They're not tow missiles. I have not played this thing in forever, you know what? Okay, now these are tow. Very slow tow. Oh, we still got five left. It's a Huey. Uh, Dollar tab real quick, make sure I'm recording. Yeah, we're not doing terrible. I mean, if I could aim better, that's that's four assists and a kill. Um, I wasn't expecting to be in 9.3, unfortunately, with uh, that Magok. At least I broke his barrel in the second shot. I know I could kill him from behind. That's where I was supposed to overpressure him, but he had a buddy back there. Fortunately, we have all most of our team has started to leave. You do have one Death Leavers and Vidars. I don't know what that thing is. Maybe somebody just unlocked that in uh in 8.0 and decided to go into the game. And now uh, they've got a helicopter on my 4 AV. Interesting, interesting. The Swedish uh, premium helicopter used to be 10.0 or 9.7, and it fit well with the CV. Uh, was that 905 or whatever? Now it's like 10.3, so they kind of ruined that lineup a little bit. Ooh, this thing is slow. I think it's almost stock too. Like I hardly ever use this thing, but I like to abuse this little gun camera here. We're gonna go around these buildings over here. That way, if we got SPA or something like that out there, they're not gonna be able to smack us as much. Oh, hello. Wait a second here. Is he within three kilometers? Oh, looks like he died already. Oh, there's somebody. Uh, I think he's just gonna be out now. He's just in it. I often have to turn down the uh, DPI when I'm doing helicopters like this.
Give me a hit. This is like at the maximum range of this thing. Oh, is it lower? Oh, it's gotta be lower than the range on that. Two kilometers. Oh. Oh, this is a starting helicopter. I completely forgot. I'm just too used to playing the German helicopters where they're all like three something. I'm about to get swatted out the sky. <laughs> we'll go to the next match. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about him. He's got plenty of people looking that direction. Oh, there was somebody, but I thought that was somebody. <laughs> and we'll hop into the next match. Make this two-match video. The tank can do well. Can do. I don't have any real uh, casts in here, so. Yeah, the joke is to get the Sab 105G, carry like four or five bombs, a gun pod, and you get the uh, the CCIP bombing reticle on the ground. So you don't ever really have to go close, worrying about SPA, and just drop bombs. This is a decent match. Uh, I'm going to go from top side. We have a low enough profile, and that's what really saves this tank a lot. The engine is in the front, too. Actually, I think it's got two separate engines in the front. We'll knock this down a little bit. Don't need that much ammo. I like to take 12 rounds, because, you know, you're not always guaranteed a one-hit kill. This is a triple cap, so we'll start up here, and then we'll see if we can go flank. Laser range finder on stuff this low is amazing. Is that the fox? No, it's just like it though. Term 3 is an amazing tank. So we are geared up with Sweden again. Alright. That's 8.3 on that. No, that's 7.7. You .7. were doing alright. This terrain. I want to go first. I'll let him go first. We should be getting shot at here momentarily. But look how low we are to the ground. And when you creep up on a hill, the suspension actually just pushes that wedge, just the gun and that slope at the very top. And that's all the enemy can really see. Unless you got heat rounds, you're doing alright. Which is a decent amount of heat around this BR. I want to keep a lookout over here. Now, once we get through the trees over here, we can do some work. We want to keep from knocking down the big trees so we can get a good flank going. Now, hardly nothing here has thermals in this BR. Mostly it's uh, scout vehicles that will have them. That what makes the uh, the Vidar really, really crazy. Alright, here. I got a little spot I like to go to. No, yep, yeah, he's beating me to it. <laughs> oh, turd. Oh no, that's a, that's a helicopter. Alright, so I think we're in good enough position right here to do this. Right, there's a little bit of a ledge. It's typically... Uh, I'm going to have to reposition if the fog's too, uh, too much over here. Alright, we'll reposition. Aha, maybe not. Appears to be somebody right there. Yeah, he got him. Yeah, there's always going to be one or two. Uh, that guy's going off in this helicopter. Nice. Get him, bro. Alright, we'll reposition to a more fun area. Kind of be careful with this, uh, this whole aiming, because it drives the tank, too. So just hold down W and use that to drive. I 
I don't know what party. I don't want to give myself away by shooting just yet. I can't really see him. Here, trying to come through. Okay, somebody got me. We could be being more helpful, but I do like the plank in this thing. It's like a little Leo. Just cooler looking. We should be protected from the side over here. Uh, it's not that loud of an engine that's on there. We want to catch people not paying attention. Oh. Every time I look, somebody dies. <laughs> you guys should definitely try this thing out. It's, it can be pretty hilarious. The kind of things it can get away with. I need to set up a hotkey to turn the uh, whole aiming off. That way when I'm driving, I'm not worried about the uh, direction I'm going in. person peek this. Oh, didn't mean to knock down that tree. Or that one. I hear him, but I don't see him. That one's dead. Aha. Oh, I messed up. Wrong button. Breach. Got him. M6081. So he's got a buddy back there. Look at that, we just shrugged that shell off. We can go reverse quite quickly. Seven seconds, we'll take it. I don't know what it's repairing. That was a great getaway. I hear him over there. I just do not see him. And like I said, you can tank just some... Oh, oh no, you can't tank that! Oh. <laughs> He wanted me dead. That might have been a revenge kill. Who knows? Who knows? Now the fun part begins. Thermal time. Don't even really need the bushes. It just looks cooler. With all the fancy bushes on it. Hello, somebody got killed over here by Sue 122. What? trees or something. <laughs> Gotta get away from all this cast. Alright. Well, hello there. Such a loud clunk noise. This is a proximity shell. I just don't know how fast it travels. Okay, we're trying to shoot something at three kilometers away, so I'm not expecting any uh anything massive. 
can't even see the show leave. Huh. Okay, come on, there we go. Hover for me, baby, hover. There's two helicopters, I can't hit either one of them. He's literally not moving. I need to get away from this. No good will come of this. So much cast up. Oh. Where'd the helicopter go? And there's other stuff I could be shooting <laughs> besides helicopters. <laughs> well, that's it for me. But, like I said, I told you I put a video up on the wedge chain. So the second match wasn't uh, as thrilling. I'm just gonna back out of that. I'm really gonna worry about it too much. Oh yeah, it's still fun to drag out every once in a blue moon. And if you just feel like playing something that's not top tier, I still like the eight point. Well, I run as eight point three on the German setup with the term three. Ah, oh, so nice, so nice. There's been a couple times I've gotten close to a nuke. We're talking like seven kills. I haven't got my nuke yet, but eventually I will. But alright guys, till next time, you all have a good one. Catch you later.